She's one of the greatest Native American activists. We're gonna be here. We're gonna be here until the pipes are gone. The parallel between our work is always fighting in honor of our ancestors. You're afraid of us having control over our land, and I fundamentally believe that's racism. It inspired me as an indigenous woman to stand up for the rights of my people. Growing up, I heard stories about Winona LaDuke and what she did and how fierce she was. Our tribe has more stringent environmental laws than the state of Minnesota and the federal government. But you're afraid of us having control over our land, and I fundamentally believe that's racism, because they don't believe that we could handle our land. Uju and Dinaway Muganatuk. That's hello, my relative in my language. I am someone that believes that if you do not control your land, you do not control your destiny. That is our experience in my community. And that is why the, the land issue is at the root of our community and is at the root of our struggles for justice. She's been doing this work, uh, especially around protecting Mother Earth, really, for a very long time. We have to continue that fight because as the first peoples of this land, we've lost a lot. We've given up a lot. A lot of what she talks about out in the world is grounded in culture. And that's something that I do my best to keep in mind when I'm talking about the change that we can make. We rode on horseback to cast our votes at polling locations. We're coming off the 2020 elections facing the most voter suppression legislation we might ever see. And it impacts Native communities. I think the parallel between my work and Winona LaDuke's is always fighting in honor of our ancestors and for the next seven generations. She was out there talking about the fact that the federal government hasn't upheld its end of the treaty rights that they have with tribal nations. The government believes so much in manifest destiny. They stole lands of our ancestors. The federal government has an obligation to uphold those treaty rights. It is not just about money or land, it is also about your identity. You know, it's also about knowing who you are and having some ability to control your destiny and your dignity. And generations of people fight for that. We're going to have to be here till the pipes are gone and the oil is done. And we're going to be because we've been here 8,000 years and Enbridge has only been around for 65. So we're going to be here. The Anishinaabe people up there, which is Winona LaDuke's tribe, formed camps up there to protect their water and their land up there. Here we are on the Willow River where Enbridge is seeking to cross the river by digging underneath it. But we, the people, are here in the river because the rivers belong to the fish, they belong to the animals, and they belong to the people, and they don't belong to embers. These are harsh, cold months, and they're still up there um, protecting the water, just as we all did back in 2016 at Standing Rock. Winona LaDuke was at that fight as well. She's welcomed all of those folks who showed up at Standing Rock to also show up in Northern Minnesota. I hope one day Winona and I can sit down and have a conversation and, you know, talk about 
her incredible work and and I, I hope to one day get to tell her how much she's inspired me.